Hey guys, Wes here. In today's episode of 5 Minute Fridays, we're gonna look at a few different use cases for JavaScript's spread operator. So let's take a look. Okay, so I've got Vim open here. So on the left side, we'll have our JavaScript and on the right side, we'll have the output when we run that JavaScript using Node. So what the spread syntax essentially allows us to do is to expand some iterable, whether that be inside of a function call or in an iterable literal, like an array literal, for instance. So let's look at an example. Here we're gonna look at how we'll use the spread syntax if we have this function log greeting, which takes three arguments, and we simply just log those arguments out to the console. So what we can do using spread is we can have an array in which we'd like to define the arguments at each index, which map to the index of the set of args for this function. And if we wanted to do this previously, we'd have to use something like the apply method, the first argument of which we would just make null. It refers to this object or the calling object. And the second argument would refer to this array. This is similar to the call function, except that call accepts those params directly here. Whereas with apply in the second argument of apply here, we could simply supply this array. So if we log that, we can see that using apply works, but we can actually avoid that now using the spread operator. And so the spread operator is essentially these three periods here before args, and we're passing this to the same method log greeting, but we're not actually explicitly using the apply function at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and run this. And so you can see that we get the same result. So this is a pretty useful example in an instance where we can use spread in a, in a function call. Note that we can also use it to work with array literals. So for instance, if we wanna concatenate two arrays together here, so I've got an array veg here and an array fruit, and we just have some strings in these arrays. If I'd like to combine them, I can actually create a new array and simply use the spread operator before each of the two vars that represent the, the first two arrays here to, in a sense, concatenate them. And so you can see now we have that array here. So in a sense, what we're doing is we're really expanding or sort of deconstructing these arrays, if you will, in the context in which the spread operator is used. So in this example, we end up with a single array that contains each of the items in these two iterables. Going back to the use for spread syntax in function calls, we can also use the spread operator in functions that accept any number of arguments. So for instance, math.max is a function that simply will take the maximum value of the arguments that it's passed. So you can see now how we can use the spread operator and passing it this num array variable here. So we can see that this will indeed return five. This also seems like a good time to mention the rest parameter syntax, which is what you would use or what you might use to actually build a function that takes any number of arguments. And it looks just like the spread operator. So let's take a look at that. So we define a function here that simply returns the length of the arguments that are past it. And when we're using the three dots here with args in our function definition, we call this rest parameter syntax. So if I were to call args length with two arguments here, you can see that our function returns two. And in fact, we can pass now any number of arguments to args length and run it just as well. So using the three dots here in your function definition is an example of using rest parameter syntax. Okay, so that's just a few examples of using the spread operator in practice here and a quick look also at rest parameter syntax, which also contains three dots, but will be used in cases where we are actually defining a function. All right, that's about it for today's 5 Minute Fridays. Be sure to leave comments or questions below. I'd love to hear suggestions for ideas for 5 Minute Fridays episodes or new full app series. I'm interested in hearing whatever you guys are interested in covering. I'd appreciate it if you liked or subscribed if you got something out of this video and I'll catch you next time.